Hello, welcome to DC Today. I am Trevor Cummings filling in for David Bonson, and I will start my story there. I got an email from David Bonson at 4 a.m. this morning, and I want to tell you this story because I want to tell you the character of David Bonson and how much he cares about our clients. Uh, he was saying, I might need to do DC Today, Trevor. He had this planned vacation, and we try really hard at the Bonson Group to offer David lift and to really uh, honor his time when he's away for the business because it's very rare. So the reason I'm telling you this story is because this man is up at 3 or 4 a.m. every day uh, reading through research paper, um, digesting what's going on in markets. One, because he loves what he does, but at the end of the day, it is for the clients. So for me, it just spoke, um, uh, I don't even know, know how to articulate it. It was just one of those moments in my career that I'm like, I'm so thankful to be working here at the Bonson Group. So uh, with um, a lot of arm twisting, I encouraged him to let me uh, do DC Today. Now, why would that be happening? Well, futures markets were showing the market opening down something like 600 points. Uh, and what David's real desire is to make sure that you all know uh, that we are working tirelessly behind the scenes to understand that everything that's going on. Uh, what I wrote about in DC Today as far as the intro was this idiom that we use in the English language that basically says you got to wait till the dust settles. Uh, there is some rubble uh, at Silicon Valley Bank and all analysts are parsing through that rubble to understand what is substance, uh, if anything is, is actually like a s systematic threat, uh, and what is hysteria. The tough thing when you're talking about banks, what does hysteria mean? I'm not talking about people just acting crazy. I'm saying people have full freedom to go online and move money from what, one bank to another. I was reading a Bloomberg report today that said um, over the last few days, something like $18 billion of deposits were put into Bank of America. Uh, to make that relative to you, last year, Bank of America had negative $8 billion of deposits. So what does hysteria look like right now? It means smaller regional banks are losing depositors, which puts pressure on them. Uh, those are uh, folks that employ people in our country, and they're moving to what they would posture as banks that are too big to fail, right? So I wrote an article last week for Thoughts on Money where I talked about the four largest banks had something like 50 or 60% 60 60 of the deposits in our country, uh, Wells Fargo, Chase, Bank of America, and Citi. Uh, when the dust settles, that'll look different. Uh, and there's been a lot of movement. So whether it's Signature Bank or uh, Silicon Valley Bank or what the headline today was Credit Suisse, right? What liquidity issues and what's happening there, kind of looking at all the rumors are, uh, you know, our Swiss authorities talking about putting a full backstop on the bank or, or whatnot. So that really ruled the headlines. Now, if you want me to put a positive spin on it, uh, David Bonson was texting me at 4 a.m. when we were down 600 points on the Dow, uh, and we ended the day through ups and downs, right? Down 280 points on the Dow. It was down about 0.87%. The S&P 500 was down 0.7%, and the NASDAQ was actually positive. Uh, the leading sector was... Um, I should probably look at my notes here. The uh, lean spec sector was communication services, which was up 1.5%. And the energy sector, uh, one of its worst days, I think, in uh, over the last 12 months or so, the uh, energy sector was down 5.42%. Uh, oil uh, prices were at $68.17 a barrel. That was down 4.46%. Where I would draw the greatest attention, uh, if you're a curious investor, is look at bond prices. Uh, the 10-year treasury was down 17 basis points today. You go look at the short end of where two-year treasuries were a week ago and where they are today. This is, some, this is the type of bond volatility we've never seen in my entire career. Uh, and we might not have seen this in the last 50 years. So what that's telling you is markets right now are trying to recalibrate to the news that's going on. Again, I'll bring us back to that idiom. You as an investor, somebody who has a financial plan, I'm gonna encourage you to wait till the death settles until you make big decisions. Investors love clarity, they crave clarity, and you are just not gonna get a lot of clarity right now with those situations, because each day, you're gonna know something that you didn't know yesterday. 
Um, now, all of this will overshadow um, any of the economic data that was published today, but I'll give it to you. It's in the written. Um, you'll see that retail sales uh, fell a third time in the last four months. Uh, one of the things they focus on there is they look at restaurants. Uh, they kind of look at that as potentially a leading indicator to see how the consumer is spending. Uh, there was a fall in restaurant spending uh, prior month. The hard part there is weather's been pretty tough. And sometimes, uh, I'll speak for myself, uh, when it's pouring outside in Southern California, I'm probably more likely to eat at home than go out to a restaurant. Uh, the, pr uh, the producer price index came in a little bit lighter than expected, uh, which is a positive, right? It means inflation is slowing. Um, David's written ad nauseum about this. The most interesting thing, if you want to have um, some coffee talk conversation, egg prices, right? Those were the, the, the big thing everyone was talking about. Egg prices dropped 41%, um, which definitely helped to soften the pr producer price index. Uh, the National Association of Home Builders, they do a confidence survey every month, um, a third month in a row, that it was positive. Um, it was above expectations. The actual measurement was, I think, 44. Uh, so that's a positive that uh, there is some confidence for builders building new homes. Keep in mind that it's well off where it was a year ago. I've said this many times when I've sat in for David here. A lot of folks are sitting on their hands as they try to figure out where do mortgage rates go, uh, where is demand, and Remember, if you're a builder or you're submitting permits, um, uh, you have to look where the puck's going. So again, we'll watch that stuff closely, but in reality, most of the focus in markets right now uh, is starting with Silicon Valley Bank and now some of the news with Credit Suisse. My encouragement to you, David wrote an amazing piece on Monday that you should read. It talks all about what actually happened with Silicon Valley Bank on Friday. David has stored up a bunch of Ask David questions. So on Friday, I'm sure a question that you're thinking about or a question that you maybe have asked is going to be addressed there uh, unless he decides to pivot. But um, that is the plan for Friday. De uh, Brian Zaitel will bring you DC Today tomorrow. And then uh, quite a bit of economic data. Like I said, it might be trumped by um, what we're looking at in the banking sector. But you have jobless claims tomorrow, housing starts, building permits, and then the Philadelphia Fed manufacturing data. So that is all I have for you today. I will leave you with this last encouragement. Uh, we are here for you. So if you have questions, if you have concerns, um, if you just want to jump on the phone, reach out to your advisor at the Bonson Group. Uh, you're welcome to email me uh, or David Bonson. We are available. We want to be a resource and be as helpful as we can. Uh, with that said, hopefully, wherever you are in the country, uh, I hope that sometime today or this week, the sun will be shining. You'll enjoy some time with your family and friends. Uh, and Brian Zetel will be back tomorrow to bring you the DC Today. Mm -hmm.